let's talk about how you create your perfect prosperity plan. Randy Gage here coming to you from San Diego again and I want to talk about a fascinating subject how you create your plan your perfect plan for manifesting wealth and security and freedom in your life uh, interesting situation uh, some of you know I, I just started a uh, I restarted my breakthrough you coaching program and I have this thing called the Mastermind Council, very high-end thing, people have to apply for it. And then there's a phone interview. So I'm doing a phone interview with a guy who I approved, very sharp guy, very successful businessman over in the UK, entrepreneur. And, uh, but we were having the conversation, he was talking about, uh, he bought this bundle of things from me, about $40,000 at a charity auction thing that I was involved with a couple of years ago. And he said, you know how it was back then, I had a bunch of money and now things are a little tighter and you know how it is, money goes up, money goes down. And I said, whoa, whoa, stop, wait a minute. You know me, I'm always about checking the premise. If the premise is bad, everything that comes off of the premise is bad. So this, uh, excuse me, this, this premise that he had, this belief that he was living by, which was, Hey, sometimes you got a lot of money coming in, sometimes the money's really bad, sometimes you're rich, sometimes you're poor, it's cyclical. That's not a belief that serves him, that's not a belief that serves you. Here's what I know, I want every single month to be wealthier than I was the month before. Why not because it's a scoreboard thing or anything? Because I have more things I want to do. I have more homes that I want to have around the world. I have more things that I want to build. I have uh, so many charities that I support that have so much desperate need that I would like to help in an even bigger way. The, the support I give to the arts that I would like to do in a bigger way. So I want to play in a much bigger sandbox. So to do that, I need to break the cycle of the system, which is the system which is always trying to take your money, keep you broke, keep you in debt, keep you enslaved. You got to break through that and be growing your wealth every month. So the thing I told him, hey, if you're going to be my counsel, you're going to have to lose that belief because that belief doesn't serve you. You have to have the belief I do, which is I'm supposed to be wealthier every month. And one of the things I do is I get a statement from my financial planner. Literally every month I get a financial statement. And I can see, did I grow my wealth that month? And that's a, it, it just kind of feeds and, and drives me because I see the progress I'm making. So maybe I would uh, choose not to buy another sports car next month because I know, well, if I do that, then probably my net worth is going to go down. Whereas if I can take that money invested in something else for another two or three months, then I could still go out, pay cash for that sports car, and my wealth would be greater than it was the month before, and I want to see that. Here's the perfect prosperity plan for you. This is what I want you to aspire to. Every single morning when you wake up, you want to be wealthier than you were the night before. That was, and I don't remember who, you know, I did the show from uh, Florida a couple of weeks back and when I was at the Mastermind Retreat that I was attending, and that was one of the things we talked about was, I don't know, maybe Warren Buffett said it, I, I don't remember who, but that was, to me, that's always something, I've always done the monthly thing, but I love the idea of, hey, every morning I should wake up wealthier than when I went to sleep. Because if I'm smart, if I'm being savvy, if I'm really escaping the matrix, right, the whole system that's designed to keep you enslaved in debt, then I have my money working for me. I have my assets working for me. I'm practicing the concept of leverage. So, and when I make money, I'm taking that money and I'm leveraging it even more. I'm leveraging my leverage. So go back and look at that show a couple of weeks ago. I talked about how to do that. Uh, but that's what I want you to do. I want you to focus on, okay, maybe you just have a job right now. You're trading hours for currency. Great. Well, then you're going to need to keep doing that. Look for ways you could make money on the side, any kind of side business you could do. And then again, you've got to spend less than you take in and take some of that money and invest it in some way, compound interest, compound earnings 
compound something to create leverage so that your money is growing money. And so even if you're ten dollars and here, here's practical application i have a financial planner who gives me a statement every month maybe for you uh, you just have a, a yellow legal pad and you write down here's my credit card debt for january here's how much my savings in the bank here's how much my investment is that's where i'm at february end of the month what's did i reduce the credit card debt how much did i add 150 dollars to the savings did i uh, add 200 dollars to my investment or something and you can do it that way and you can just see, hey, I'm making progress. That'll motivate you to do more, uh, make better decisions, and you really can get in the point where you wake up in the morning and you're wealthier than you were when you went to sleep. Have a great week. I'll talk to you next time. Until then, peace, love you guys, and live rich. fun next week. We're going to get off the money thing a little a bit and talk more about the whole harmony, health, prosperity, relationship, the holistic approach. And we're going to talk about how to rewrite a new story for yourself. See you next Monday.